This special interview about Digimon visuals was well received in the previous issue. This time we focus on two anime series, Digimon Ghost Game and Digimon Frontier, in two consecutive articles. In this article, we pick up Digimon Frontier, which celebrates the 20th anniversary of its TV anime broadcast. We asked the person in charge about the many newly drawn visuals commemorating the anniversary, and asked the designer a lot about the behind the scenes production process. Asako Sukahara, Design Room, Toei Animation Company. Digimon Partners Staff, Digimon Lovers in Their 30s. DP Staff, the 20th anniversary year started in April 2022, and we were able to meet the characters of Digimon Frontier again with many newly drawn visuals. Which visuals were the start of your production, Sukahara san? Sukahara. It was a visual for the LB Pop Up Theater, currently operating as Annabeth, where a special event was held from April. We started work on it in October 2021 but at the time we were also working on visuals for Digimon Tamers at the same time. So I was really excited that the anniversary of Frontier was finally coming up. The main Digimon characters in Frontier are all life-size. The partner Digimon up until now, such as Agumon and Gamamon, have focused on cuteness, but I thought we needed a different angle, so I rewatched all the episodes of Frontier again. We wanted to enhance the cuteness of Chuckman, the suppleness and beauty of Fairymon, and the coolness of the other Digimon. So we looked for poses that would bring out the personality from the stories. DP. With the two visuals created at the same time. Tsukahara. We created the visuals of the six children first, and then we thought about the composition of the Digimon in a way that linked to them. For example, Takuya is making a Peace, V, pose for the 20th anniversary, and Agunaman is in a fist pumping pose to match. Everyone's personality changes slightly when they become a Digimon, so we decided on a similar but rearranged pose. Chuckman and Tomoki, however, remain the same. DP. So the visuals for the Digimon were thought up afterwards. Tsukahara. I wanted them to have a similar angle of view and look cool, but Junpei. I thought I should have posed him a bit differently. I was happy that the hard work was worth it, because we were able to produce goods with the link between the two visuals in mind. DP. Do you produce the goods while also thinking about when they are made into merchandise? Tsukahara. Yes, I do. For example, when we make acrylic stands, we can be flexible to a certain extent in terms of the height, but if they spread out horizontally, it becomes difficult to commercialize them. It would be cooler if they had weapons, but swords and long spears had to be considered to fit in properly, and we struggled with that as well. DP. So there are different difficulties than with Veman and Gilman. Tsukahara. If the poses are too compact, they don't look cool anymore, so it's hard to find the right balance and come up with good poses. DP. Next you created a visual to celebrate the anniversary of Frontier and Digimon Partners. Tsukahara. I was told that it was intended to be a commercial product, so I was thinking of a pose that would be easy to make into an acrylic stand, like standing up straight. However, the person in charge of the project wanted a composition that emphasized the character rather than the ease of commercialization, so we ended up with the current, moving shape. We also thought about the personal belongings of each character, and I was happy to see the great reaction from fans to Kuji carrying a bouquet of flowers. When I was looking back at the film, I thought, I want Kuji to carry a bouquet of flowers, but I think he would be a bit embarrassed, so I'm glad that people could relate to that. DP. If you look closely, you can see that Kuji is embarrassed. Tsukahara. Yes, that's right. He's embarrassed and has a little red line on the cheek. It was casual but many people noticed it. Azumi eats a lot of food unexpectedly, so maybe cake. Tomoki would look cute with a big present box on his head. Junpei is a lively character, so he should set off a firecracker. Koiki has his both hands full of presents. 
Takuya looks good holding out a balloon, and it's very Takuya like. We had fun deciding on poses and accessories, considering the characterization. DP. It was refreshing to see everyone taking off the trademark headgear. Tsukahara. This time, we asked them to remove their hats and bandanas as they were in formal wear. I was happy that the neat atmosphere was well received by the fans. Azumi's stylish jacket style was suggested by a member who worked with me on the costume. I was thinking of having her wear a dress, but I thought it would be more harmonious and glamorous, and Azumi herself is stylish, so when I saw the finished visual, I thought. Azumi is a master at dressing like this. Junpei also looks fashionable and cool with his waistcoat and ring tie. DP. During the event visuals, you also created several toy-related illustrations, such as for the Digimon card game. Tsukahara. I was particularly enthusiastic about the Super Complete Selection Animation D scanner, which I started working on in the summer of 2022. Toy-related visuals are often used for packaging, and it's hard to keep them as objects, so I was happy to see them in the form of cards. DP. At the Digimon Frontier 20th Anniversary Pop-Up in Tokyo Station, which was held from July, a visual holding a bouquet of flowers was unveiled. Tsukahara. The manufacturer gave us an image of the costume and a request for a bouquet of flowers to hold, which we drew. The type of flowers was left to me, so I sent reference materials such as the coloring to the drawing staff, and they created a very nice bouquet. I was very grateful to receive positive feedback from fans about the combination of flowers and characters. DP. The bouquet is very large and gorgeous. Tsukahara. The theme was to use a large bouquet of flowers in various shades. The atmosphere is completely different from the other visuals, and we were able to express a glamour and cuteness that is not often seen in Digimon. Tomoki's smile in particular is very cute. The costumes were specified by the manufacturer, but I thought they had a deep understanding of the characters and chose very stylish ones that suited each of them. DP. The key visual for Digifest 2022 features the children from Frontier alongside the grown-up members of Digimon Adventure 02, which is very fresh. Tsukahara. When I was asked to create this visual, I thought it would be difficult to have characters of different heights standing side by side. But then I remembered that there is a wide staircase at the back of Tachikawa Garden Place, the venue for Digifest. I thought that if I used that as a stage, I could create an atmosphere where everyone came to the venue together, and I could adjust the height difference by making them sit down and other movements. I spent a lot of time thinking about the clothes, belongings, composition, poses and facial expressions, so I was very happy to have the drawing staff make it look really cute. DP. It's wonderful to see Digimon in the children's belongings and costumes. Tsukahara. In Frontier, children cannot stand alongside Digimon because of the setting where they evolve into Digimon. So we thought of ways to express this, such as having Takuya wear a t-shirt and Tomoki carry a bag on his back. We actually saw some people asking for them to be made into merchandise, so it was worthwhile to think hard about it. DP. Since we're here, can you tell us a bit about O2? Tsukahara. We tried to create a fun atmosphere for the O2 members when they were with their partners. We always make them look at the camera in anticipation of making them into merchandise, but we also thought about each character's personality, for example. Irene will read the pamphlet when she comes to the festival. DP. In that respect, the Frontier members also have a sense of character. Tsukahara. Actually, Kuji was looking at the camera in the rough drawing I did, but in the drawing he was looking down and Tomoki was at the end of his line of sight. The person in charge of the drawing actually saw the work and knew how everyone, including Kuji, felt about Tomoki, so she expressed it naturally. I thought it turned out to be a better form, so I made the finished product with Kuji as he is, with a watchful eye. DP. In terms of having Digimon on your belongings, 
the Digimon Frontier 20th Anniversary pop-up store held at the loft was similar. Tsukahara. We received a request from the manufacturer to have Digimon on our belongings, and we created this one, but it was innovative in that it had a completely different taste from the usual. And the colors were light, which is unusual for a Digimon. There is no slumber party in the main anime series, but I drew it while imagining what would happen if they returned to the real world. The Chuckman slippers that Tomoki is wearing are particularly cute. DP. They're all really cute. Was it also an idea from the makers to include the character's original costume motifs? Tsukahara. Yes, it was a really cute idea that we adopted and drew as it was. For example, Takuya's eye mask is a pair of goggles, which also came from the manufacturer, and it was a very good idea that was very Takuya like, but also fit naturally into the drawing. DP. I enjoy the variety of costumes in the Frontier collaboration. Tsukahara. I have the impression that there are fewer of the usual outfits. The anime has never developed different costumes in the main series, so it seems to have been a fresh experience for the fans. DP. Maybe that's the beauty of the anniversary. Tsukahara. The current work is in the process of being introduced to the fans, so the same costumes are often used in the drawings. But the characters in Frontier have a foundation that has lived on in the fans for 20 years, so we can take on new challenges. 20 years on, I'm happy to be able to bring out a new side of them. DP. The CD jacket for Ames Innocent and Ayumi Miyazaki's with the will gives the impression of a compilation. Tsukahara. Well, it's the last drawing I did for the 20th anniversary of Frontier, and the image drawing I received from Feel Me was really cool. So I put a lot of energy into trying to recreate it exactly as it was. I asked the artist to do the drawing while working out the details of the pose. The Digimon in the center of the Digicode, the children looking up at them, the trailman and the train tracks, the background inspired by the moon background where the final battle took place. Everything was wonderful, and we made it richly finished, including the painting and effects. The time period was the culmination of the 20th anniversary, and visually, the image was the end of the journey, so I tried to create a look that was crisp yet somehow refreshing. We went over the evolution scene many times, adjusted the digicode and went through a lot of trial and error to get the right light and feel. I was honored to be given the opportunity to work on such a beautiful CD jacket, and I was really happy to receive a good response from the fans. DP. Thank you very much for your valuable talk. We can't wait to see more Digimon visuals in the future. Tsukahara. On the 30th of July, it was announced that Digifest 2023 will be held, and we are currently working on the key visuals for this as well. We want to create a visual that people can enjoy looking at and buying, such as having the characters wear and hold the actual Digifest goods that will be sold. We've also changed the atmosphere of the layout from previous years, so please stay tuned for that as well.